how to make echo sound effect inside DaVinci Resolve. First of all, let's preview what we are having. So this is the song that I'm gonna make an example for echo effect. I also cut it this part in here. I wanna use it for the example. I'm going in the VR light up. So I'm gonna preview the raw footage of that specific type that we are gonna be editing. My audio channel is on stereo, but you can do it either on mono. You just have to right click on the channel, find change channel type, and you can select either mono or stereo. For my example, I'm using stereo, as I said, so let's move on. Let's click on the effects on the top left and you will see your audio effects inside DaVinci Resolve. You want to look for echo, which is located just right here. If you're using a stereo one, you want to put it on both of them. So highlight both sides and drag and drop it over them. A pop-up window will appear and this is your panel with your echo effects settings. Now I'm gonna close the effects, move away this window so we can have a clear preview and let's preview once again what we're having with the default values of echo effect. Let's listen. It's not sounding very nice with the default values so we're gonna fix it. Actually in here I'm just looking out for this output which is dry and wet the delay time which is right here and the feedback delay. We're going to start looking out the delay time and basically this is very straightforward. The higher it is the more delay it's going to have. Let's preview with maximum values. Based on our song this is way too much so let's try the opposite. Let's bring it back nearly to zero. I still think it's not a good fit for this song, so I'm gonna try increase the values and try with higher ones. This is also kinda fast, so I'm gonna increase it once again. Let's see. Still it is too fast, so I'm gonna increase it once again. Let's try with 400. Lastly, I will try something around the 6-700 mark, and let's try and see what it is right now. I kinda like how it sounds so I'm gonna leave it as it is. Next we're moving on to the next one. The second metric is feedback delay. This is also something that I'm looking forward to when I'm editing with echo effect. Most of the cases I'm putting similar values to the delay time with a tiny bit more. Let's check. It sounds alright, so I'm moving to the last one, which is the output, dry and wet. Lowering the values will make it flat. And increasing the values towards the wet side is gonna make it more sound robotic and a tiny bit over the top, which in my opinion is gonna fit this song. So now let's disable the echo effect and see the original audio and then compare it with the new one. This was the original and now let's enable the echo effect and see it once again. And now we're successfully having the echo effect over the song. I was just making an example of echo effect and what you should look for. Not that the song is actually needing any echo effect. You can also watch this video right here. I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.